Hey everybody, it's me, Gregor Menorino. How are you today? It is Thursday, June 25th, 2015. All right, everyone, so what's going on? Well, despite supposed good economic news, this market continues to sell off. By continuing to sell off, I'm referring to this specifically. At the end of last month, I pretty much called, no, I exactly called the top of this market. And for those of you out there that are skeptical, I did write an article right at that time saying that this bull market was over. I also wrote an article today which discussed this phenomenon uh, and also what we can look forward to moving forward with regard to Greece. If you're interested in reading those articles, and for those of you that need proof that I called this market top, for which it has dropped over 500 points since I called its top, I'm going to place uh, links to those articles, or that one article, um, in the description of this video and in the comment section. Please read these things if you really want to get uh, an understanding of where this market may be going. I went over, and I've been talking about lately, Dow Theory. Um, and how that plays into what's going on with regard to these markets. And I do talk about that in those articles that I wrote. But unless this changes, unless we start to see a reversal with regard to the Dow transports and we see some uh, relief from these rising bond yields, this, this bull market is over. It's over. Um, but we'll see how that plays out as we move forward. I can't imagine a catalyst that's going to reverse um, both of these metrics again as we move forward, especially being that we have a Federal Reserve that is threatening to raise interest rates, something they can't do, um, again, unless, unless a few miracles happen to line up perfectly here. But let's talk about what's driving this market lately and caused this significant sell-off as of late. That is this issue with Greece here, and I've been getting so many questions and comments about it, and I've, I've already addressed this, talking about, I sincerely believe at this point that there is going to be some type of a can kick here. Let, let's just outline why. If this does not occur, um, it's going to really put the credibility of both the European Central Bank and the IMF on the line. And understand, the entire financial system is built upon confidence, confidence that it will continue to function here. So despite, again, posturing, and I wrote about this in that article from today on Seeking Alpha, uh, by uh, the European Central Bank and the IMF, they want this deal and they want it badly. Um, that's a fact here. Again, this, this confidence, if, if Greece defaults in some way or the other, um, this is going to cause an issue with regard to other nations that are just as indebted uh, as Greece is, or, or if not worse. Uh, guess what? We're worse here in the United States, but we have a printing press uh, called the Federal Reserve, who continues to print cash into there than error and, and issue IOUs in the form of bonds or debt. But again, this is all going to come to an end as well here. So what I want to touch on here in this video is put basically an understanding of how this is playing out right in front of you in, a, in those articles I wrote uh, and in these videos here. But again, I would be shocked, beyond shocked, if some type of a can-kick event does not occur. There is the possibility that it does not occur. Uh, so keep that in mind as well here. But I think by and large, and if you talk to most people uh, like myself who follow these things, you will be hard-pressed to find one, I believe, that says they're not going to come up with some kind of a can kick. Now, talking about that can kick here, um, this is what I see moving forward. I believe, again, we're going to see... We, the markets are under a lot of pressure here because of the issues I just covered earlier in this video. They will remain that way. However, if we get a Greek can kick, we are going to see a rally in this market, probably several hundred points. Again, we've dropped 500, over 500 actually, I believe, uh, since I called the top of this market 
we could see a recoup of some of that. I do not believe we're going to hit any new all-time highs off of, of this uh, can-kick rally, which I believe is coming. But that doesn't mean we can't make some cash here, people. So I'm still holding my position on Apple. Um, October 1, 30 calls. And I think there's some money to be made there. But keep in mind, and I wrote about this again in the last few articles uh, on Seeking Alpha. I talked about it here. If we get a can-kick rally, um, it will be short-lived because there's nothing else supporting this market here unless we get some blowout earnings, which it doesn't seem like we're going to be getting because uh, we're just about here at earnings seasons now. But we'll see how that plays out. I believe without some type of a catalyst behind this market, we're going to see this can-kick rally and then we're going to get a hardcore sell-off. And we're all going to capitalize on that. We're going to capitalize on it either way. But this is where my thinking is moving at this point. Got myself in position at least now to try to take advantage of this can kick rally. May not happen, but if it does happen, I'm ready. If it doesn't happen, I will reverse that position. I will probably short one of the major indices, probably the S&P 500, but I'll talk about it at, time, at that time with all of you so we can make this work for us because there's no reason, zero, why we can't do that because I can promise you all this can kicking nonsense this is being done for a reason. Uh, it's allowing the institutional investors and the banks to position themselves to gain from whatever comes out from over there. But keep in mind, keep this in mind. Without a can kick here, if there is a real default, there's going to be a real problem here regarding credibility of these institutions, the IMF, the European Central Bank, other world central banks. And this could, could possibly set up a cascade of events, which could be devastating. But again, we're going to see how that plays out as we move forward. And I promise you, we are going to capitalize on it. With that said, I'll see all of you soon. Over and out.